you say you're from, Jim? Um, well, in this context, I'm from, uh, I'm, well, I'm part of Long Player. I composed Long Player, if that's the word for it, and that's the context I'm here in. How long ago did Long Player start and why? Well, the, uh, <clears throat> the music in itself started in, uh, on the cusp of the year 2000 at the international dateline. How long had you been thinking about it before that cusp? Uh, I'd been thinking about the idea of making something that engaged with time as a long, slow process for a long time. I don't know how many years, but maybe since I was a, well, not since I was a kid, but since I sort of started making music and art. <clears throat> and, um, but the, uh, it, the idea sort of crystallized around the middle of the 1990s. Mm -hmm. Just about the time, actually, we crystallized yeah. the, the 10,000 year clock idea. That, that's right. Something was in the air. Yeah, well, I think what was in the air was the, the millennium approaching. Right. And, and for me, something, you know, I, I remembered being a kid. So I was born in 1955, and I guess, so around 1960, I can remember my father giving me comics for the first time, or maybe a bit younger, and there were these science fiction stories about the future and stuff, and the year 2000 seemed to always, you know, it was this thing that was a very long way away. Mm -hmm. And, and I, I can remember in the, in the mid-1990s, that in, in England at least, in the press, people started to talk about the millennium and the year 2000 but not beyond it. They were just talking about a few days of having a party or you know, making some architectural monstrosity to celebrate it, but nothing beyond. The only thing I could find that was thinking beyond 2000 was the World Cup in 2002. That seemed to be the only, you know, the only forward thinking going on. So that sort of crystallized my uh, thinking about 